right, welcome to Strickland and Friends. Today we're making a red lentil sweet potato and Swiss chard soup. So we've got cut up Swiss chard, we've got cut up sweet potato, minced garlic, Gorgeous. ginger, Ooh. and uh, some chopped mm -hmm. onion. And so we're going to start by sauteing the onion, the garlic, and the Swiss chard stems for just a few minutes to get the onions nice and cooked through. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And one thing, did you notice what I'm not putting in the pan? Where's the oil? Oil, yeah, there's no oil. Okay, so here you could kind of stir that around a little bit. This was charred and let that cook for just a minute. So what you can do to keep the onion and the Swiss chard from sticking is just add a splash of water. So, and it doesn't really need it yet. It's not sticking yet. So this will cook about five minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes of cooking this, and uh, adding the garlic on medium high heat. Just stir that a little bit to get the garlic to cook, and then we're going to add six cups of vegetable broth. And one can of light coconut milk. Okay. There we go and we're going to add the red lentils. So this was one cup of red lentils that were not soaked, but I did rinse them. Oh, if I can get them out, they get hard <laughs> sitting in the, in the drain thing. Okay, there we go. So, and then we're adding the sweet potato. So that ended up being about three cups or so. And then the ginger, this is about two tablespoons of fresh minced ginger. That's it for now. We're going to bring it to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we'll then bring it back down to a simmer and put a lid on it for 30 minutes or so. So it looks like the sweet potatoes have cooked through. And you can tell because you can take one and smash it up against the side and it smashes. So it's cooked. They are cooked all the way through. The lentils have kind of just disappeared in here. So we are going to add some lemon juice. So I've cut some lemon in half. I'm just putting it in our little juicer. Squirt some in. And we're adding all of these wonderful Swiss chard leaves. So if you would give that a stir, get them all stirred in. Look how pretty that is. That's a beautiful soup. It's very colorful. And then what you could do is cut up lemon and serve lemon wedges with it. Yeah. Also, if you would like it spicy, you could add some roasted red pe I mean chili peppers, like little roasted red chili pepper flakes, or that coconut sriracha sauce that we found. Oh. Yeah, that would be really good with it. So, yay. So we have a winner. Oh, very much so. Yum. It's done. A good winter meal. A good winter meal, and it's just not that hard to do. <laughs> it's really very easy. So, yay. <laughs> All right. So do try this at home. Thank you for joining us.